<clears throat> Hello. How's everyone doing? Oh, my brother Sean is on. Everyone say hello to Kid Callie. <laughs> Hi, you guys. I'm nine minutes late for our class, but I'm glad you're here. How are you guys today? We've got people hopping in. Is it gorgeous and hot where you are? It's definitely summer here. We had the kids outside on um, a modified slip and slide because we didn't have one. <laughs> How many of you from the 80s remember slip and slides? So I put like a whole bunch of yoga mats together and threw the sprinkler on and they don't know the difference, but it's gorgeous here. I'm glad you're here. I want to take 30 minutes with you today and hang out and talk about the top 10 oils. So um, welcome if you're brand new here. I mentioned on um, Instagram yesterday on Insta Stories that I'd be popping on here today to do a 30 minute intro to, intro to oils, intro to doTERRA class featuring the top 10 oils, which you may have heard me talk about before, that these will address 80% of the healthcare needs and your life goals, your lifestyle goals can be solved with these 10 oils. And I wanted to pop on and share maybe three of my favorite ways to use these top 10. One of the main reasons that I'm sharing this with you uh, towards the end of the month is because if you're in Canada, there's a really cool promo going on. You may have seen me post about it. Um, you can start with the very same kit that I started with a little over four years ago. It's called the Home Essentials Kit. You can start with it today or tomorrow at 20% off. And if you want to see the exact prices and which exact um, starter collections in Canada qualify for the 20% off, you can hop over after this little class we're doing uh, to my Insta stories, you'll see that I posted it there. I'll, I'll probably post it fresh for you guys today for those of you that are wanting to jump in. Um, as we're going along, if you have questions about oils or you want to get started, um, I do want to encourage you to connect with the person that's been guiding you up till now. That's really important. Um, however you found yourself here, I'll, I'll introduce myself quickly in a moment, um, but I want to make sure that you connect back with the person that's been guiding you in doTERRA. They can help you out today. Um, if that person's me, then please send me a PM anytime today, um, and I'll shoot you over the quick steps that you can open up your own wholesale account through, okay? So my name is Ange Peters and I'm the founder of WholeFit. We are a global wellness community today of coming up to um, close to 80,000 essential oil homes around the world. I started WholeFit 10 years ago when I was on my first maternity leave with my um, oldest daughter, Chloe. I launched my brand. Um, some of you that are on, maybe we connected in the early days when I began um, coaching and educating on healthy living, uh, giving you very practical, realistic ways to increase your, your fitness levels, to increase the amount of whole foods you're integrating, um, to be aware spiritually and emotionally of our health. And I've always been passionate about teaching through a holistic lens. Um, it is what I live. And when I integrated doTERRA almost five years ago, um, this was the missing tool, in my opinion, for so many of my coaching clients, which I initially um, served in that way with doTERRA, I integrated it into a lot of my programs because it was the missing piece for them. And one class back in April 2014 to about 40 people turned into hundreds of classes over the years and this community that we see today of almost 80,000 people. And so I really enjoy teaching this topic, uh, the top 10 oils. It's I, I pop on every once in a while, not as much online um, around the, the actual class, um, a lot of the classes that I that I did throughout the first couple of years when I started were, were in people's homes. Um, it was very much this underground movement happening and uh, what we see today in doTERRA is over 6 million people using doTERRA as their health and self-care and it's really powerful. And so I do like to do these quick impromptu classes every once in a while online for those of you that are seeking a higher level of health, perhaps you've been feeling um, stuck in 
what you've been doing for your healthcare. Um, perhaps you've given up on your body. You know, maybe you've tried many things before. Maybe you've even tried essential oils before and they just didn't quite do what you thought they were going to do. Um, and you're gonna learn why that is today, okay, as I go through these oils. So, I have my top 10 here, you guys, and I'm ready to go with you. Um, if you are at home and you already have doTERRA, grab your top 10. Maybe you have this little mini bottle kit, right? The top 10 oils and the mini bottles, the essential collection kit, um, whatever you have at home. If you have even just one bottle of doTERRA, why don't you grab it and we'll open up. My favorite to use before I teach, of course, is peppermint. Um, one of the top 10, one of, the, one of my favorite, favorite oils of all time. I take a drop in my hand and I breathe it in and it helps me expand in my lungs and in my clarity of how I'm here to teach you today, okay? So welcome and post questions as you have them. Um, this is streaming live, which means that it's going to be available for 24 hours, um, but I will see if I can chop it up into 10 minute segments. We're only gonna go 30 minutes and upload it to IGTV after where it can live longer. Okay, so what I wanna review with you are the things I always review in a class. And um, I really, one of my goals when I'm teaching is to not have the focus on me at all. I want to, I want to be here to serve you and where you're at. Um, but be, please be mindful that uh, this is not um, a session where you can ask for treatments for a disease. That is not what we do. Um, disease begins to change when we take proactive care of our health when we use the right tools. And so. I, um, I will not go in that direction during this class, but I will teach you how through your lifestyle and how through various oils supporting your body, you can move your body towards a higher state of health where the healing truly begins and where it heals itself, okay? So I won't even address questions um, asking for oils for disease because that's not the playground that we play in, okay? You can do a lot of your own research that way to discover all of the interest in essential oils in healthcare today. You can hop over to PubMed, of course, um, and you can find close to 20,000 research articles on essential oils and their use um, in various ways. There are many um, hospitals today working and aligning with doTERRA to change healthcare as we know it. This is one of the main reasons people are starting to look at doTERRA because they may have used essential oils in the past from the mall or the gas station or another brand, just like I did. I was using oils for years before doTERRA. Um, and then when I opened up a bottle, of course, I understood, oh, this is the real deal. Um, and the reason is doTERRA is a medicinal grade. It's a pure plant oil. It is not a bottle of something that is made to smell like lemon or lavender. For example, when we get to it, you'll learn why lavender from the mall is not helping you sleep, okay? You're gonna learn you know, what's going on in that bottle. And one of the things you may have heard about doTERRA before is that they have a grading called CPTG, Certified Pure Therapeutic Grade. Now, here's the interesting thing. They had to create that th themselves because there is no governing body that says to the hundreds of essential oil companies out there today, hey, you can't put that in your bottle. That's not, that's not real lavender, that's just fragrance, or that's just a bunch of harmful ingredients that you've put in there to make someone think it's gonna do something and you're just you know, charging whatever you want. Um, there's a lot of that oil's gone rogue going on today. And so doTERRA had to create their own stamp something that you could look at as a consumer and know what you're working with. Complete transparency. And I'm gonna share a website with you today that, uh, to be quite honest with you, is causing all of the other essential oil companies in the world today to lose sleep at night, okay? Because it brought transparency to the forefront. And um, if these other companies, you know, let's say you're using another bottle right now that you really enjoy and you just wanna know um, whether or not you should make the switch to doTERRA, you want to go back to that company and ask for transparency on what's actually in that bottle, okay? Um, because it's very difficult to find. Hey, you guys, I see you commenting. Nice to have you on live. Um, so doTERRA is a healthcare company. They are a science company. Um, much of the research that we're seeing happen today is because of doTERRA. Unless you have a billionaire with a really good heart, investing in research of essential oils today, 
you're not going to see a lot of research coming out because you have to think about that. There, there has to be an interest in seeing a form of health move, right? There has to be an interest in seeing the use of a product increase. This is why there's so much research today on prescription medications because there's great interest in pushing those through fast, sometimes just weeks, weeks of research and that's it and then it's on the shelf, okay? Um, so doTERRA is the reason that the whole essential oil category has elevated today. doTERRA is much of the reason that you see all these brands popping up everywhere left and right. Um, and I, I do feel that ultimately people now um, that are you know, learning about essential oils, they're not learning about them for the first time, they're coming to doTERRA with a prior experience with something else, okay? So, so that's very common. Um, doTERRA is, a, is also a company doing incredible work around the world. So one of the things, as you start to look into them more, you, you, know, you could actually hop on their YouTube channel, you guys, I'd encourage you to look at their sourcing videos. So not only are they completely transparent about what's in the bottle, but they're also um, sharing the story of the relationship with the growers all around the world. Um, it will, uh, you know, you'll notice that when we use an oil like, um, for example, I was just in Italy with doTERRA visiting our citrus growers. And you meet these families and you realize that this has been in their family for five generations. You know, and, and this particular family that we met when we were in Italy where they grow our, our lemon and our bergamot, this family for 30 years did not make any money from doing what they were doing. It was passed down through generations because there was no interest in essential oils, you know, 30, 40 years ago. And so, you know, if you're here because a friend invited you, that's a really good friend because you're learning about a different way to take care of yourself. And, you know, I don't have a lot of time today because again, I wanna keep this short and focused on the top 10, but please spend some time looking at the abundance and impact that doTERRA is having around the world through our use here of essential oils, of using that beautiful bergamot oil that that family in Italy has made their life's work you know, it's it, through our use here, it's this beautiful fair trade process. There are no middlemen and you have to question the cost of something as you're using it. If you're using an oil that you purchased, if you're using frankincense that cost you $9 at Walmart, you have to question, A, what's in that bottle really? And B, what's the story here? What's the backstory? How did this frankincense become so cheap? right? What's going on within that process? You have to really ask these questions, especially you guys, because you're talking about your body. You're talking about natural health care. We are not talking about a sweater or a purse or a pair of shoes. If you want to save money in those things, go for it. Don't do it with your health care. Okay. So let's dive in. Okay. Um, so like I said, I want to go through the top 10 oils with you because this is where almost everybody starts. In fact, this is where I um, if you're brand new to this topic, this is where I want you to start is the top 10. This will go into other areas of your life. You will start to, you know, you'll focus on one thing. Maybe it's green cleaning and making your own cleaners and cleaning up your home environment. And then that will be a domino effect and it'll start to trickle into other areas where maybe in the fall you start to exercise more um, because your oils are helping, you know, have more clean energy. Um, and then maybe emotionally the oils start to really work on you where you use your oils as you're processing heavy emotion and letting that, those emotions move through you. Those are obviously all totally different classes and different topics we can go into, but the top 10 is where everyone starts. My favorite way for people to start is with the Home Essentials Collection, okay? And that, these are really the, the 10 oils plus a diffuser, and that's what I'm gonna go through with you today. So let's do this, okay? Um, I would love, I know we have some oilers live right now. Um, I'd love for you guys to share one of your favorite ways to use each oil as I go through, okay? We're gonna start off with lemon. Now lemon at wholesale is, um, I believe the cheapest essential oil you can purchase because it's very easy to grow. And this is part of the reason that goes into cost, right? When we have something like Roman chamomile or Melissa, some of the more pricier oils or helichrysum, they can be upwards of $150 for a little bottle like this, right? Um, the reason being is it takes a lot of time to grow that particular plant, okay? Um, so, 
Oh, we see some of you commenting already. Super cool. Okay, so let's come back to lemon. So as I'm talking about these, these top 10 oils that are in the Home Essentials kit, they are the regular size bottles, okay? So these are 15 mil bottles. They'll have around 250 drops per bottle. I love you guys, that's so fun. You guys are commenting with all your favorite uses for lemon. Um, nobody get ahead of me and go on to lavender or anything. Just let's stick to lemon. I'm gonna have nothing to teach because you guys are sharing all the best stuff, which is, let's just do that today. <laughs> I'll just sit here and cheer you on. You guys teach the class, I love it. So. 250 drops per bottle versus the, the mini bottles that come in the smallest kit, which is the essential collection kit. These ones have around 70 drops per bottle, okay? So just so you can kind of see the difference. Trust me, um, even the regular size bottle, as you guys can see, all like there's probably been 30 uses listed in the comments here. Um, this bottle, you'll go through one every month or two because you'll use it for so many things. It's incredible. So lemon, doTERRA's lemon is about five cents a drop, five pennies per drop. Um, one of the best ways is to combine lemon with lavender and peppermint to make a beautiful seasonal support blend in your diffuser, okay? Um, if any of you struggle with shifts in seasons, lemon, lavender, and peppermint is gonna be your go-to in the diffuser. So lemon is all things cleansing, okay? So you can see in some of the, the comments that a lot of people have shared how they love to use it to remove gum uh, in hair, on countertops, uh, to remove any sticky residue. So you know those picture frames you get from the home goods store and they have that adhesive that never comes off. One drop of lemon and you'll just move that adhesive off with your finger, it'll come right off, or a cloth. Um, whiteboards, teachers, those of you who have just finished school, you're getting ready to probably polish up your classroom in August. Um, lemon right on your whiteboard will remove any previous stains, even permanent marker, okay? Um, cleansing for obviously cleaners in the home. One of my favorite, easiest cleaners to make would be to grab a, um, a glass bottle, like an old Perrier or San Pellegrino bottle. It'll fit a spray head, okay, so you can make your own cleaners. Add 20 drops of your lemon, half a cup of vinegar, and half a cup of water. Brilliant cleaner. What I like to do at the end of a day to kind of extend the life of the cloths that I'm using in the kitchen is I'll just drop one or two drops of lemon right on the cloth. It's just like one of those oils that's just got punch to it. You know, you, you, you diffuse it on its own and it just totally cleanses the air that you're breathing in. Diffusing is amazing because then everyone benefits that's breathing it in, in the house, right? So, um, it's all things cleansing. You'll use it emotionally for cleansing. You'll use it obviously for surfaces. Um, mix with a, like two drops with a little olive oil and that'll make a brilliant polish for your furniture. Um, internally, this is an oil I use daily in my drinking water. Now, some people have weird feelings about taking doTERRA internally. You don't have to, but I want you to keep in mind that everything eventually hits the bloodstream, okay? So um, everything you're breathing in on a daily basis, everything you're putting on your skin matters. It eventually is absorbed into the system in some capacity, not, sometimes not fully. Um, however, obviously using an oil internally is going to be one of the quickest routes of absorption into the body unless you're using an IV drip, okay? So when you're using lemon, the lemon from doTERRA, you guys, keep in mind, is the complete lemon. It's just lemon, okay? It's, there's no added fillers or fragrance or anything in this, which is why it makes doTERRA the only brand that you really could use internally. Now, I do. I've been using doTERRA internally for five years. I'm not saying you have to, but this is one of the reasons that my skin glows. It's one of the reasons my system is internally cleansing at a higher rate every day. I add, I drink four liters of water per day. That might be way too much for some of you, but you do want to start with at least half your body weight in ounces of water, clean water. Um, I love swell bottles. So for example, well, this isn't a swell, this is a hydro flask, um, but this guy here is 32 ounces, okay? So I would want to be drinking at least two of these a day based on my weight, and I would add two to three drops of lemon essential oil to this every time I fill it up. I've been doing that for five years, okay? Now the reason I'm sharing that with you is lemon, the main constituent in lemon is called limonene. I'm gonna show you something cool in just a moment of how to know what constituents are in your oils. Um, but limonene, if you guys wanna look it up, it's one of the main detoxifiers. It actually works with glutathione. It boosts glutathione production in your body. 
so that deeper cleansing happens. So this is not the same as squeezing lemon juice into your water, obviously. Lemon juice is going to be alkalizing, it's going to be um, high in vitamin C, great benefits to both. Sometimes I actually do both, okay? Um, this is going to help you drink more water though as well if you're really struggling with that. Very cleansing to the lymph system. Oh my gosh, one of my favorite ways. I love to add this when I'm baking. How many of you saw the recipe I posted yesterday from Elena's Pantry? It was a keto blueberry lemon uh, bread. No sugar, it has basically eggs and almond flour. I added 10 drops of my lemon and it actually wasn't quite enough. I should have added 12 um, just to give it that extra punch. But any recipes that you're making that require lemon zest, you don't need to do that anymore. In fact, um, essential oils, even like the more herbaceous essential oils, like oregano that we're going to talk about today, you can use that in your cooking recipes instead of buying the herbs, okay? So feel free to comment below. Any other uses? Let me just scroll up. I just want to see if there's anything I missed from what you brilliant ones shared. But lemon can be used all three ways, you guys, aromatically, topically, and internally. Right on. Okay. Um, yes. Lemon in your cookies, lemon on roasted potatoes, lemon in your water. <laughs> Julie said it's a degreasing ninja, cleans all the things. Yes, one drop in your water. Oh, in your dog's water every day, cool. Um, getting crayon off your walls and furniture, lemon in guacamole for pr taking off price stickers. Um, <laughs> Betsy said if your kids climb pine trees, lemon takes off the sap. That's so cool. Lemon added to toothpaste, whitens teeth, Jenny said, awesome. Yeah, I mean, it's endless, right? Maggie said to clean my kids' strawberries. Oh yes, thank you, Maggie. So one of the other things I've posted about quite often is I love to give the produce a bath that we're using every day. So I'll fill a big bowl in the sink. I'll add a couple of pumps of On Guard hand soap because the soap helps the oils disperse. So they're not just sitting on top of the water, right? So um, I'll, I'll do a little couple pumps of the On Guard foaming soap, and then I'll add one drop of lemon for every big produce item, and I let it soak for 10 minutes. You will not believe how much dirt and griminess comes off of your produce when you do that. Yes, gum in the hair, lemon added to freshly pressed juice. Mwah, love it. Cleaning surfaces, wood polish by adding it to fractionated coconut oil. Love it. Good. Yeah. Okay. All right. I think I got to most of them. Uh, yeah. Uh, please save to your whole fit page. Yeah. I will figure that out. I will save this video and upload it somehow. Probably to YouTube. Oh, um, okay. You said nails grow better since using lemon essential oil and water up to three liters a day. Perfect. Okay. Good. Moving on. Oh, and on fish. Okay. Yes. If you love fish again, like lemon that you would use in a lot of recipes, you can use lemon essential oil. So let's talk about lavender. Okay, so lavender, we think of all things calming. Feel free to start adding your comments. This is obviously gonna go longer than 30 minutes. Let's have a little more fun here today. I'm gonna, I'll scoot through the last, um, you know, the blends quicker, but, but I wanna spend more time on lavender and peppermint. So lavender, uh, we think of all things calming and soothing, particularly for the skin and for emotions. So often we think of lavender for sleep, which is true, um, but we also think of it for skin. What we know of lavender on skin is it is super calming for anything. So my girls were out in the garage earlier getting some swim stuff out and this black fly bit my daughter Emmy and she started to swell up pretty quick. So I grabbed the lavender as quickly as possible and I applied it direct to that bite, okay? I just took a drop in my hand and put it right in her skin. Now normally, you know, especially with kids, you wanna dilute oils, but when you're, when you're trying to target something fast, you can go direct with lavender, okay? And I can see a lot of you commenting with your favorite ways to use lavender, particularly for skin issues. So I'll go, I'll read them really quickly in a minute. Um, but here, okay, here's what I wanna share. This is very cool. Grab a device, an iPad or a phone or something that obviously doesn't require you to leave me right now. Um, and I want you to pull up a recipe called source and I wanna show you guys something really quick. So I have my iPad here. I want you to go to source Okay, this is the website I was mentioning that none of the other essential oils want you to, uh, none of the other essential oil companies want you to know about, okay? This is the, the mic drop recipe or website. Why do I keep mixing my words up? This is the mic drop website. doTERRA launched this, I think it was two years ago. 
and everything changed when this happened, okay? Um, because up until now, keep in mind, you're basically having to trust what a company is saying is in those bottles. That's it. And sometimes I see people say, well, how can I trust doTERRA because they made up CPTG? You know, well, you're right, but they had to because they had to put some kind of mark of approval, some way of saying, this is our promise to you. We will never use um, fillers, pesticides, um, fake ingredients, toxic ingredients in these bottles. This will be nothing but the pure plant. And we also promise you that where we source these oils are where they were naturally meant to grow in the world. They don't grow lavender off the highways in the US and, and harvest that and distill it. They go to Bulgaria, okay? Or they go to France where it grows abundantly, where it was meant to grow, right? So here's the cool thing. Now, this won't interest all of you, um, but if you like science and if you wanna understand why your doTERRA oils work and the oil that you bought at the mall is not working, this is why. So what you do, this is fun, you go to sourcedyou.com, and you guys, those of you that educate on doTERRA that are with me right now, when you are in classes, show this. You know, bring an iPad with you to show people sourced you. So here's what you do. So I have my bottle of lavender right here, okay? I'm gonna look at the bottom and you'll see a scan code, okay? Yeah, keep posting the ways you guys use lavender as I look this up for you guys, because I wanna show this to you. So um, it's kind of hard to read, right? So I'm gonna like do my best here. But here on source to you you click on GCMS, which is gas chromatography, mass spectrometry, blah, and you're gonna punch in the code, okay, where it says enter your quality ID, so I'm doing that right now. So we have, you guys, if you wanna do my bottle with me on your own, I'll read it out to you, okay? Um, so it's L173, 478, K. And the, the letters are capitalized. I'm not sure if that matters, but okay. So this is what happens when you punch in that bottle. Um, this only works for single origin oils, not for blends, because obviously those contain a lot of different oils in them. So single blend, single oils like lavender. Um, and it's for bottles that were produced past um, two years ago. Okay, so if you have some old bottles kicking around, they probably won't scan. Um, okay, so this pulls up the GCMS reports. It also pull, pulls up a video and sourcing information. So this is what I wanted to show you. If you click the, the PDF button right there, this pulls up the third party lab that tests all of doTERRA's oils. It's called Aromatic Plant Research Center, APRC. And what, I'm gonna try to do this while I'm looking here. When you scroll down, it shows when that particular bottle of oil was tested that you now have in your home. And then it pulls up the GCMS report, which shows all of the constituents in that bottle of lavender. Now constituents are, if you wanna think of it almost like if lavender was the, rest, was the end product, the constituents are the ingredients to get to that end product. Now, lavender, it's 10 cents a drop and it has hundreds of uses, as you guys can see, similar to lemon. If you scroll through and you see how all the people in the community right now have shared, the reason that lavender has hundreds of uses is because of all of these different constituents. Now, um, you can't see this on the screen, but as I scroll down, it shows you the name of every one of those constituents. Does anybody on live right now, any of my science buffs, do any of you know why lavender is so calming? and is so good for sleep. doTERRA's lavender, not the stuff at the mall or the gas station or Best Buy that says 100% pure lavender that really is just something made to smell like lavender. Why does lavender work for sleep? Does anyone know what the main constituents are? Yes, essential drops of joy, got it. Linalool is one of them. There's one other one that causes lavender to be very calming on the system, okay? Now, linalool, as I can see here, you guys might see the second one as I pull this up. <clears throat> linalool, let me zoom in, okay? You can see there is 32% of the makeup of this bottle of lavender. And you can see the other constituents, there's some that are like 0.18%, 
hundreds of, of different things in this, but the other one that is very calming is linalyl acetate, okay? So it's a natural constituent found in pure lavender, especially lavender that was grown in the environmental conditions that it was meant to. So this is why you need to know where your plants have come from in the world when you're looking at a bottle, okay? And this again is part of doTERRA's commitment is that they source where the plant was meant to grow. And I mean, doTERRA is the ultimate account for um, a farming family to get because through doTERRA, their whole life will change. The life of their communities, uh, where they live, everything changes once doTERRA says, you've grown what we're looking for, right? Okay, so let's go through lavender uses real quick. There's a lot of great comments here. Um, this is another oil you can use all three ways, internally, um, topically, and aromatically. Great on its own for sleep. You might add it to a couple of cotton pads and stuff them in your pillows or diffuse it 30 minutes before bed. It's beautiful on its own. Topically to clear the skin or calm the skin. I already mentioned, you know, using it on a bug bite, a bee sting, a rash, a burn. Um, if you burn yourself with your curling iron, you know, getting lavender on pretty quick is going to reduce the reaction that the, you're working against time in that situation, okay? Same with anything, any kind of reaction with a bug bite. Um, you know, my daughter Emmy's very sensitive. She had full body eczema her whole first year of life until we really cleaned up everything we were using in our home and, and, and helped to cleanse her liver properly. And, and, then, and now she doesn't really react, but if she gets bit by a bug, she will swell up pretty bad. So the quicker I get that lavender on, no, no other reaction continues to happen because it, it's a natural calming agent on the skin. Oh man, the uses, you guys. I mean, in the bath. So I will add, um, you know, for myself, when I'm doing a nice bath three nights a week, you can search hashtag whole fit bath, right? You can see all of my concoctions that I've posted. Lavender is my favorite, I love it. So what I'll do is I'll add a cup of Epsom salts, half a cup of baking soda, and about four, five drops of lavender maybe to the tub, big soaking tub. Um, it's brilliant, you're gonna have the best sleep of your life with that. Yes, it's the Swiss Army knife of oils, that's right. Um, you can use it to um, infuse your laundry. So I like to add a couple of drops to dryer balls for the last 10 minutes of the dryer cycle. Um, and then obviously for baking, you can make a nice like lavender um, oat loaf. You can, anything that calls for, for lavender, um, lavender dressings, things like that. Lavender lemonade, somebody just mentioned. Making your own body scrubs. Mm, and drop on the floor of an airplane and calm the screaming kids on the plane. <laughs> yeah, um, applied to the annual curling iron burn on forehead. That's right, yeah. Um, great for all things uh, for your kids, like Brittany Belota said, in her kid's bath, making a diaper cream with it, bug bites. And it, you guys, making your own stuff with doTERRA is so easy because you just need your oils and a couple of base ingredients like shea butter or coconut oil. Everything skin. Um, somebody mentioned calming for dogs that get anxious with thunderstorms or fireworks. They'll, excuse me, they'll add a drop to the bandana around the dog's neck. That's awesome. Love that. Okay. All right, adding to iced tea, love it, great tips. Okay, so again, that one's about 10 cents per drop, and you're only gonna use one drop, maybe two drops for most applications, unless, like I said, for the bath, soaking with like five drops. Let me grab a drink, one sec. Okay, peppermint I'll focus on, and then we'll roll through the last seven, okay, and get you guys back out to the sunshine. So peppermint is another one, all three ways, aromatically, topically, and internally. It's also 10 cents per drop. Um, brilliant with lavender and lemon, like I said, in the diffuser. Um, also great with another one of our favorite oils, which isn't in the top 10, but wild orange. How many of you diffuse this in the mornings for just beautiful energy when you wake up? It's super cleansing again, but peppermint has punch, right? It is, you breathe it in and it's just super clearing right away, okay? So that was the oil I breathed in before we started today. Um, just very cleansing, opens up the airways, great for cooling the skin, so you can make a nice little spray. Um, in a little spray bottle, you could add water and about 10 drops of your peppermint and just cool your body down when you come in. Maybe you've had a little bit too much sun, and in that case, you'd wanna add equal parts lavender and peppermint to a spray bottle, great body spritzer. 
Um, great for reducing tension, okay? So you guys can interpret what I'm saying here, but if you have just, you know, just some tension going on right around here, um, apply, you can apply a drop direct right to the temples. I'm doing that right now. If you had a little bit of a stuffy nose, okay? Just incredible. This is the oil. You'll try this and you'll be like, oh, okay, I get it. I get the purity of doTERRA. Um, I love to add them to my lip gloss tubes. There's a cool tip for you. Add one, maybe two drops to a lip gloss tube and you'll have fresh breath and natural plumping. Um, I can feel that peppermint going to work right now. It takes about 20 seconds and it draws the, the blood to the area and it's just instant. Don't get it too close to your eyes when you're breathing it in or putting it on your temples because it'll cause your, your eyes to water for sure. Um, fresh breath, obviously, so you could, you could add it to a little bit of water, rinse your mouth, spit out. If you have any kind of digestive issues, adding one drop of doTERRA's peppermint to your water is going to be very calming and cooling. It feels incredible. It's like just this internal hug. <laughs> you know what I mean? How many of you guys have tried that? Um, internally to baking recipes as well is great. Peppermint brownies, peppermint coffee, peppermint bark, you name it. You're not going to buy peppermint extract anymore. You'll use your doTERRA peppermint. Um, okay, you add it to a little plastic inhaler tube. Yeah, you could even apply it to a cotton ball or a scarf and breathe that in, especially if you're on a flight. Um, oh, cool, so uh, Mrs. 540 said she used it with clove, copaiba, frankincense, and melaleuca for her 10-year-old who had a tooth extracted, helped with possible pain and healing. That's awesome. Vibe Essentials adds peppermint to her iced coffee. That would be so good. Betsy said anti-spider oil, yeah, and ants as well. If you guys have an ant issue in the summer, you can line little cotton balls with peppermint along um, the doors. Go alignment, oh guys, go check them out. They have the best essential oil cases. I so love mine. It's the one I've shown you guys before with um, the roller bottles in it. Check out goal alignment. Uh, it's awesome for when you feel discouraged, lifts her right up. That's what she said, awesome. Um, Helps with headaches, someone said. Cooling her down, loves peppermint and wild orange. Cool, love it, love it. Mm. Just Breathe says, uh, make a spritzer bottle for long car drives on the back of her neck. Yeah, it just like wakes you up right away. Vibe Essential said, great with spearmint for a natural weed treatment for gardens. So you guys are starting to see, um, you'll start with oils for one thing and then the journey will lead you in all these other places. And before you know it, you're just not buying anything anymore. Those store-bought chemical cleaners or whatever, um, you've got everything at your fingertips. And I'll tell you something, sometimes people struggle with the um, investment of integrating essential oils into their home because prevention and natural living and um, just this form of healthcare isn't appealing to people until they need it. Okay, and so it, sometimes you feel like, well, I don't know if it'll be worth it. But you, how do I stress this enough? Um, you cannot put a dollar amount on what it feels like to grab these oils in the moment when you need them to solve almost everything that comes up every day. Like I mentioned with my daughter, she's in the garage, she gets bit by a black fly, I run and grab my bottle of lavender and no problem. You know what I mean? It's like those moments where you're just like, you will find when you get your little kit of oils in that you just, you won't even know what you did before you had these, right? You guys know what I mean? How many of you, I mean, like comment on that because I wanna hear from you. When you started with your oils, did you think you maybe weren't gonna use them as much as you do? And do you ever think about what life was like before having tools at your fingertips at all times? You know what I mean? Um, Healing Kisses says she uses peppermint for fevers, right? So cooling the body down in any way is gonna be helpful. Yeah, great. I love, I love seeing how they've impacted you guys. Okay, so let's roll through. Tea tree oil. That's what it's called in Canada. It's called Melaleuca in, in the US and in other parts of the world. In Australia and Canada, it's called tea tree oil. It's the exact same thing. Nine cents per drop. For all things purification and first aid, this is your cleansing oil. So again, when you're, let's say you've had some kind of a skin reaction or you've, you've had a cut or something where you need a first aid approach, you're gonna use your tea tree oil with your lavender. You dilute them both, right? Um, so basically you can promote healing that way because you're, again, you're calling in the troops that heal naturally in your body 
um, while protecting the area from infections, okay? I love reading your comments, you guys. It's awesome. Keep them coming. If you're here with us live, share your heart. Um, one drop to skin issues. So again, you may have used a lot of products in the past for um, acne prone skin, right? That's where you've probably heard of tea tree oil. You've probably also heard of it for use um, in lice prevention. Gross, right? So um, yes, ear pain, exactly. If you have any kind of ear issues, um, add two drops of your tea tree oil to a little cotton ball, tape it just outside of the ear. Never ever apply your essential oils in the ear canal. That can be very damaging. Um, it can also throw off your, your whole alignment. You wanna make sure that you're, you're just applying around. It will have the same benefits, okay? Um, so any kind of ear discomfort, this will work really well. Any kind of skin issues, you might wanna look into, if you have acne prone skin, um, look into oil cleansing, where you use something like fractionated coconut oil with your tea tree oil and just work it into your skin. Um, like I mentioned, add it to your shampoo with your kids for lice prevention. Um, also for beds, how many of you know about the story of spring mattresses and bed bugs? Um, look it up. Um, if your mattress is over a year old, it's probably already doubled in weight. I'll just leave it at that. Um, so <laughs> tea tree oil is gonna be your best bud there. You're gonna wanna make a little mattress powder with baking soda and tea tree oil. You wanna sprinkle it on your mattress at least once a month and then vacuum it, okay? Um, and then internally, this is also an internal oil for immune support. You can make a mouth rinse with it as well. So, <laughs> hey Catherine, she says, oh my God, I need a new mattress. Um, so this would be the softer, less caustic version before oregano, which is the next one we'll go into, okay? Tea tree oil is about nine cents a drop. Your next, your, your, your more intense version of first aid and immune support is oregano, which is 12 cents per drop. And oregano, again, is gonna be a, a, a heavy hitter for the immune system. Um, now, this is what you'll grab when you need more intense support, right? So if you have something internally going on, that is not improving, you're going to start taking your oregano internally. Here's the thing. Some of you have used oil of oregano in the past and maybe you, you like to brag to your friends how, yeah, you just drop that stuff in your water. Well, you will not do this with doTERRA's oregano. It will burn your mucosal lining and it'll hurt, okay? So you're going to want to make your own little veggie capsule. I don't have any up here with me. I'm keeping this class as straight up and simple as possible, but you can buy veggie capsules from doTERRA through the US warehouse. Um, I think it's like $4 for a little bottle of 120 of them. You make your own capsule with three to four drops of oregano if you're fighting something pretty intense. Um, topically, you can use it, but you wanna dilute. So let's say you have, I don't know how else to say this other than wart. Um, so you will want to put a drop of this on a Q-tip and put it right on the, on the site or dilute your oregano with some coconut oil and apply to the skin. Yes, um, skin tag removal, exactly. Keep it coming, you guys, as you're, as you're mentioning um, or as you're thinking about ways that you use oregano. Again, it's most known for heavy hitting internal support. When there's something deeper going on that needs like heavy hitter, okay? That's what you're gonna go to oregano for. Um, but there are some skin issues that you'll use it for. Um, it, 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 kinda, it kinda burns, right? It burns things off <laughs> that you're looking to remove. So think of it that way. Um, I don't know what a flume capsule is. Can you elaborate on that? I have a feeling it's something to do with internal support, right? Um, Sabrina said spaghetti sauce, pasta sauce, right? So yes, uh, one drop. One drop to your whole, yes, Dr. Laura said one drop to her marinara sauce, perfect. Don't add, like really when you're using oils and cooking, um, sometimes you might wanna start with a little toothpick. Dipped in the oil, that might be enough, okay? Because it can be really overwhelming. <laughs> Me, me Sun Kang said, apply down the spine. It burns so good. <laughs> Julius, oh, own your happy said, oregano is the white knight. Love it. Yeah, it's like you're, you know, it's there for you when you need it. And it'll probably live longer than you. That's how long this will last, okay? All right. So all three ways for that guy. Last single oil I want to go through is frankincense. Known as the king of oils. doTERRA's frankincense is 35 cents per drop. You'll usually use one drop for any application. Um, this is a pricey oil. I think on its own, at wholesale, a bottle like this would be about $90, okay? 
Canadian. So when you're buying this as part of the Home Essentials kit, the Home Essentials kit this month is, um, I'm just trying to think of the cost, it's less than $300 for the all 10 oils and a diffuser. So you can see that just to get frankincense alone is worth it. Um, so, uh, and I mean, if you're listening to this as a recording um, past June 2018, the Home Essentials kit um, normal price, I believe, is three thirty Canadian. It's an incredible value um, just to get oils like frankincense in it, right? Okay, cool. Lise said two sixty four, two hundred sixty four dollars. That's the price of the kit for June. Thank you. <clears throat> um, okay, so yeah, let's keep it coming with your uses for Frank. Uh, so really all things, honestly, frankincense, if you grew up in church, it might remind you of some of those times where they used to burn the frankincense resin. Of course, um, working with the resin of frankincense was talked about in biblical times. It was one of the gifts that was brought to baby Jesus. Frankincense is highly revered, okay? And it's one of the most studied essential oils. Um, so it's really beautiful in the diffuser. I love it with lavender at night. It provides great emotional support. So beautifying for the skin, you guys. Women, if you're looking for a gorgeous serum for your skin, add two drops of frankincense to one of my favorite carrier oils called Argon, okay? A-R-G-A-N. Um, or jojoba, J-O-J-O-B-A, or fractionated coconut oil, okay? It's gorgeous as a serum applied to your skin. Yes, Sarah Christina said it helps with memory. Worked really great with, with her grandparents. So it's believed that frankincense um, is, is one of the few oils that has the ability to cross the blood-brain barrier, which makes it especially interesting for anything brain, memory, um, memory loss, um, focus, concentration, irregular growth in the brain, um, irregular patterns that stimulate from the brain. So, you know, frankincense is highly sought after internally for immune function and calming inflammation. Inflammation is the root of all major disease in the body. So frankincense is a highly sought out oil. We often say, if you don't know what to use, just grab your frankincense because it's so rich in constituents. Yes, Jenny, I love what you said there. Uh, the oil of truth helps to do the ego and to see the truth. I love, that's beautiful. Is that from the Emotions and Essential Oil book? That's a really cool book. If you wanna learn how the oils are working on you emotionally and spiritually, even if you're not open to it, they still are. If you're open to what the oils are doing and you work with them, even more powerful. Okay, we're almost done. I'm gonna go through the, uh, the four other blends that come in the Home Essentials Kit and then we'll wrap, okay? All right, so On Guard. This, you've probably heard of this guy. It's the most popular blend that doTERRA sells. This is the um, basically um, the immune support blend. It will be the oil you'll use the most in the winter. Um, especially at a change of season, okay? This is um, 16 cents per drop. Diffusing it is very smart to do. I diffuse this almost every day after school. Um, I'll put three drops in the diffuser. Sometimes I'll add a little bit of extra wild orange to it or peppermint. I love peppermint and On Guard together. Whoops, hold on one sec. I'm working in tight quarters here <laughs> in a corner in my bathroom. Okay, so On Guard and Peppermint is really delicious. I actually make cleaners with those two. It's my favorite for cleaning. Um, so I'll, I'll either use vinegar and water as the base with a mix of On Guard and Peppermint, or I'll use doTERRA's On Guard Cleaning Concentrate, um, which you'll want to get at some point, you guys. And here's how it works. You start with a kit of oils, and then you can shop whenever you want for a whole year at 25% off, and you do not have to purchase monthly unless you want to earn rewards. So, <laughs> my brother just said, throwback to my mom hiding from us in the closet. Yeah, sidebar, because we got time, right? Um, back in the 80s when we used to have landline phones, my mom would have like the cord going from the kitchen to the pantry. And I don't know why she thought we wouldn't know where she was, but my kids don't know I'm here yet, so major win. Okay, so On Guard, dilute it. If you're gonna apply it topically, it's great because when you dilute your oils, not only will they last longer on the skin, but they make them safer and they make your oils you know, go longer. You stretch them that way. So let's say you feel like you have something coming on. You're gonna take two drops of On Guard, one or two drops of On Guard in your hand with a little bit of your fractionated coconut oil and massage it in 
to your chest and throat and breathe it in at the same time because then you're, you know, topically and aromatically, it's going to work on you, right? So um, this is also a blend that you can use all three ways. There's the lot. There's only two blends, you guys, that I'm going through today with you. Um, of the top, there's only two bottles, sorry, of the top ten that you can't take internally. Okay, so I'll get to them in a moment. On guard. Um, so this one here is in a lot of products that DoTerra makes because of how effective it is at strengthening the immune system. So DoTerra has the most brilliant whitening toothpaste with this in it. The cleaning concentrate that I mentioned, the one bottle, which is about $14 at wholesale, will make 12 all-purpose cleaners in your house, and it uses a 5 ml bottle of On Guard in there. It's in laundry detergent, it's in the foaming hand soap that I mentioned I use on the produce and then obviously on our hands. Um, what else do we have? We have the On Guard hand spray, it's like 5 bucks at wholesale, um, nice sanitizing spray. We have On Guard beadlets, and um, they have half a drop of oil per little beadlet. We have On Guard throat lozenges, if you feel something coming on. When I travel, like I'm on a plane once or twice a month, most months, so I have all the On Guard things with me when I travel, faux show. Like I do not get on a plane <laughs> without those lozenges and the spray. Um, so, you know, it's just a brilliant one. When you think about all the areas, like we soak our toothbrushes once a week in water and on guard. One of you mentioned on guard apple slices. You can soak your cut up apples in water with like one or two drops of on guard and it'll infuse the apples with that protective support uh, for your kids and it has a nice little flavor to them. It smells like Christmas or holiday season. Cinnamon, clove, right? Um, what else did I want to mention? You know what? It's just... It's one of those ones that you'll use so often and it's, it, you'll reach for it when you feel like you're coming down with something. Let me see if there's anything else I want. I didn't shout out about it. Um, oh, okay, Landa Vio says she soaks her toothbrushes as well. Tip she got from my green cleaning week, awesome. Um, internal support, yeah. So it's all three ways. Breathing it in is sometimes enough to just like feel awakened and invigorated if you feel run down. Okay, the next one that goes hand in hand with that is um, it's called Easy Air in Canada, Breathe in the US. Um, Easy Air complements On Guard really well. This would be like the natural vapor rub, only this is like the real deal plant. It's not these man made chemical ingredients. <laughs> so I love this applied directly to the bridge of the nose. I'll just put a little drop on my finger. Again, this is going to be, it's, it's a little less. Um, intense. It's not as sharp as straight up peppermint, but it has peppermint in it. And it also has eucalyptus, which you'll mostly smell. So it's, it's just amazing. It's amazing directly to the nose if you are stuffed up, congested, if you need some respiratory support, um, but also gorgeous in a diffuser. I actually love putting it in the diffuser with lavender at night. It creates that really nice spa smell. Um, so you'll just love this one. Um, topically for you know the lungs right so if you if you feel like you need some respiratory support or if you know somebody who has chronic issues with breathing this will be their go-to oil okay so like Laura mentions her hubby uses a drop on the filter of his CPAP machine for sleep apnea okay a couple of you are mentioning the same thing um, in a CPAP diffuser with any sort of natural congestion amazing Sabrina says she loves um, easier blend with wild orange great for stress yes you know what this is also really good for those times when you need to find your voice um, it just helps you connect to your breath it's powerful and it is very calming at the same time um, so yeah you can see how it's very specific so I don't need to go into any other uses for that guy the next one is it's called Zen Jest in Canada or digest Zen same blend in the US, if you like black licorice, you're gonna love this. Oh, because I know you guys like the pennies per drop thing. Easier that I just talked about is 10 cents per drop. Um, Zen Just is 15 cents per drop. Probably one of the most um, incredible experiences you'll have if you have any kind of digestive issues, you're gonna love this one, okay? This is a blend you can use all three ways. So you could add one or two drops to a mug of tea um, just to support digestion, stronger digestion, right? You could apply it topically. Um, one of my favorite approaches, because I don't love the taste of black licorice or fennel, and that's what's in this that makes it not, not black licorice, but fennel. Um, that's what, that's what um, is very effective and supportive 
you know, ginger, fennel. Um, it has a little bit of peppermint in it as well. Caraway seed, tarragon, coriander. Okay, so you can imagine how this smells if you haven't tried it before. I don't like the taste of it. Um, so I love to apply it topically and I'll make, I'll, I'll make a little dilution with two drops of it topically if I have any kind of indigestion and then I'll add a drop of peppermint to my water internally. So I'm kind of, that's my favorite approach. I share that all the time with people who have digestive issues. Um, and then you could put it in the diffuser. So my mom loves fennel. So she has this going all the time. Okay. Um, yeah, just reading your ways. Such a quick fix for on tummies for kids. Yes, I love it. Again, you'll dilute it, right, with coconut oil? Or doTERRA sells these top 10, the, the top nine oils in um, pre-diluted roller bottles. The only one they don't do is lemon because it's just not a common one to use topically. Um, so um, this one helped Daisy's guy with heartburn. Oh, I love that one. Helps to digest life's experiences and emotions. That's the thing. Everything we feel physically often comes from an emotional root. So if we're having a tough time digesting stuff happening in our life, it'll often manifest as digestive issues with our food, right? It's all connected. Cool. All right, last one. And we'll wrap this up. Deep Blue. Soothing Blend. You'll notice this has a child safe cap on it and it comes in a little bottle. Even in this Home Essentials kit, it's the only one that comes as a small bottle. So it has about 70 drops per use. Let me show you the label. Um, you will use this for any time you need soothing support on your skin. Now, some people love the smell of it. This is not a safe oil to take internally because of the type of wintergreen in it. It's the wintergreen that is causing the soothing support, so it's too intense to take internally. Um, but topically, it's very soothing for any type of soreness, any type of discomfort, um, whether that's post-workout or something chronically you're dealing with, you will absolutely, this is a magical blend. Um, what else do I want to say about this? Oh, the child safe cap is on here. It's um, This one in wintergreen will have a child safe cap on it because to children, this smells like root beer, okay? So yeah, Gray Sierra said deep blue is magic. Sabrina said it's amazing for arthritis. It's taken my mom off prescription cream. It's amazing. Um, yeah, this is, this is a very specific use oil, but you'll be so glad you have it if you have any kind of discomfort happening. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap this up with you guys. This has been fun. We've gone longer than I thought I would, but I didn't know so many of you could join live today and share your ways. So, so thank you for sharing below. Um, so th what I wanna say to you is if you're in um, Canada, this is a really great time to start because you're gonna have 20% off the main starter kits, including this Home Essentials kit I went through, which also comes with a diffuser. So this is where a lot of people start. Um, there are other kits, obviously, but I always like people to start with this one. If you want to get started today or tomorrow before this promo ends, just PM me and I'll send you the link to set up your own account. There's no monthly order you have to do. There is a program called Loyalty Rewards, which you can opt into if you'd like to earn free shipping and free product points, but you don't have to do it. And you'll have 25% off to purchase whenever you want. Now, if I'm not the person that you um, have heard about doTERRA through, connect with that person after and just say, hey, I wanna get out on this promo, especially if you're in Canada. If you're in the US, you guys, your promo this month is you enroll with any collection, like the one I've talked about today, and then if you set up the monthly order to start next month, you're going to receive doTERRA's top product, which is the Lifelong Vitality Supplements. You've probably heard me talk about that before. It's a baseline multivitamin program. You're gonna get that free if you're in the US. So let's close this baby out. Um, I only have 50 seconds left with you before this automatically ends, so I don't have time for any other questions. But if you have questions about the oils or questions about getting started, feel free to private message me here on Instagram, and I will look at uploading this to um, YouTube. So it's something you can share out if you'd like to. And I'm so glad you're able to join today. This I've taught hundreds of this type of class, and um, it's my most favorite thing I do in my work. I think that this is the, the missing piece for so many people to unlock higher health and wellness. And so I hope that if you've been waiting, that you, um, you put yourself first now, you know, like this is the year where you really put your health um, to the front. So anyway, peace and love you guys. And we'll see you again soon.